Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We've been building this little site with a little hero section, a badass, sticky call to action bar there, services section, projects, testimonials, team section, little price table section, and contact us with a live Google map there. Today we're gonna to add this live call button. We're gonna have it positioned at the side and it's gonna stay right there. And what that'll do, if people are on a PC, it'll prompt them to use a phone to call. If they're on a mobile device, like a cell phone, they'll hit that and it'll automatically call the number. And we're using fixed positioning for this today. And it's really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Okay, once enabled, I'm going to go down and delete the module that I've got there. And let's get started. To do this today, I'm going to use a little blurb module. And it doesn't matter where we put this because we're going to use fixed positioning so it won't stay where we put it. So I'm going to add a little module just below our heading right here. I'm going to use the blurb module purely because it's got an icon. I'm going to get rid of the title. I'm going to get rid of the content. I'm going to go down to image and icon. I'm going to use an icon. Now they've got a sort of iPhone type phone there that you can use, but I'm going to use the more traditional sort of bone type phone there it is right there but that's entirely up to you we've got it right there and let's roll on down a bit now for the link we're going to use what they call a tell link and i'm going to put it in the actual module itself rather than the title because we haven't got a title you could put your number in there and it would appear below this but uh, a tell link is tel colon then the country code and then area code and number and there's no gaps in there okay let's go on to our design over here and we'll quickly design that because it's okay but it's a bit big and not sure about that color so i'm going to go to image and icon icon color i'm going to make white it's going to disappear into the background there but i'm going to circle it i'm going to make the circle color black but I'm going to take the opacity down a bit so that when it rolls over things, you can kind of see them through it. So I'm going to click on the color. This little right hand slider here, I'm going to take it down a little bit. Something like that. So we'll still be able to see it dark over stuff, but it should work on all colored backgrounds there. Okay, now I'm going to give it a border as well, because if it's on a black background, that's going to kind of disappear. So I'm going to say show circle border. I'm going to make that white. And again, that's disappeared into the background there. Now it's a little bit big for me there. We don't need to position it because we're going to do positioning in a moment with fixed positioning. I'm going to use icon font size. I'm going to take it down a little bit. Whatever size suits you, something like that. You can still see exactly what it is, but that works fine for me. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna do some positioning and it's really easy to do here. I'm gonna go over to advanced. I'm gonna to go to position. Here we go. I'm gonna say fixed position and it's gonna disappear when I do this. Reason it's disappeared, it's up on the top left-hand side of our site here. I want mine in the middle on the right over here. So I'm gonna to go to this little grid we've got here Put it on the right if you want it on the left put it on the left if you want it at the bottom down there bottom right down there and you can offset it with horizontal and vertical if you're top and bottom i'm going to put mine in the middle so it'll just have a horizontal offset there it is right there that works for me just going to take it out from the side just a little bit so i'm going to use little arrows to increment up in picks and it'll give it a little gap on the side I roll the site down a bit so we've got a color you'll be able to see it better there we go yeah I think that works fine 
Now the Z index, this is actually quite important. If it works for you, great. But if you find that things are going on top of it, because it wants to stay on top of everything else, slide this up. And you don't have to just keep it at 500. You can put a crazy huge number in there if you want to. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's save the changes. We'll save our page changes down here. And exit the Visual Builder. And there's our button. If we roll down the site, that should stay there. Fantastic. Seems to be on top of everything. Great. Now, if they click on it, like I say, it's going to prompt to make a call. And on a mobile device like a cell phone, it would actually prompt them to make a call and they could make the call directly there. So that's a nice little thing to have a live call button on your site like that. So there you go, guys. Really easy to do. Quick and simple video today. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.